Okay, clear for takeoff. Hold two five left and a left downwind departure. The Verde River, vibrant and alive, winding 190 miles through Arizona, through grasslands, through forests, canyons, and farmland, as it makes its journey to the Valley of the Sun. This morning I am a Lighthawk volunteer pilot. We're going to fly along the central Arizona aqueduct and then we're going to go up the Salt River a short distance to the mouth of the Verde River. Lighthawk takes conservation to new heights, providing flights designed to show and protect wild areas, waterways, and the people and wildlife that depend on them. This virtual tour offers a bird's eye view of what we Arizonans need to protect. The Verde provides important habitats for hundreds of bird species like the endangered willow flycatcher, pinion jays, and bald eagles. It's also home to bobcat, javelina, and river otters, along with many native amphibians, reptiles, and fish. And it supplies drinking water to more than 3 million people in the Phoenix metro area. Rural municipalities rely on the Verde for agriculture and recreation. But prolonged drought, climate change, increased demands, and degraded habitats are putting stress on the river. The entire Colorado River system is under stress. As water levels in Lake Mead continue to drop, water supply from other sources like the Salt and Verde Rivers becomes more important to the Valley of the Sun. The Verde River is a critical resource for the people of Arizona and for its natural heritage as well. There is hope, but if we don't act soon, it could be forever changed, forever diminished. On this flight, we start at the end. The Salt River is coming down from the east, and the Verde River is coming from the north, and this is the confluence right here. Here, where the Verde River meets the Salt River, the source of 60% of Phoenix's water supply. The health of that watershed is critical. It forms the basis of our portfolio. For Phoenix, maintaining water security means investing in water reuse programs, water conservation, water treatment infrastructure, and in the health of the Salt and Verde River watershed. We use water obviously for drinking, and then once it goes through a wastewater treatment plant, we reuse it. In working with uh, the Palo Verde Nuclear Facility for nuclear cooling on agricultural irrigation, and it back into the Salt River for habitat. We don't waste a drop. It means that supporting groups that focus on the health of the watershed is critical. A collaboration creates more efficiency and Efficiency is what's going to make our scarce resource go even further. We're flying along now at uh, just about 3,100 feet. We're going to come up here in a moment to Horseshoe Reservoir. Those reservoirs are critical for storing water and managing river flows. When we think about being in the Phoenix metro area, maybe you're in Mesa or you're in Scottsdale and you turn on your tap, water comes out. Part of that water is coming from the Salt and Verde watersheds. So the opportunity to view the river from the air is critical as we think about where it's connected and how it's put together. On the left side, right at the top of that cliff is one of the perennial eagle nests that has been very productive over the years. We have a really lush riparian forest of cottonwoods and willows. And then we have a beautiful grassland in the upper Verde um, along the Big Chino Aquifer. There's beautiful saguaro cactuses growing along the East Verde. And then we can look farther up onto the Mogollon Rim and we see Ponderosa Pine Forest. And these systems are all interconnected. This past year, we switched to sprinkler irrigation. And those sprinklers actually do so much better than flood irrigation and more effectively send water back to the river. Ranchers and groups like the Friends of the Verde River know that water is life. 
for nature, for an ever-growing economy. And they know preserving this precious resource a responsibility. Up here in the Verde Valley, we are not using water haphazardly. Sustaining the vitality of the Verde River, this delicate ribbon of water winds through rich and rugged terrain and feeds fish, birds, otters, and us. Working together, we are finding solutions, using water more efficiently, farming lower water use crops, choosing river-friendly practices, investing in infrastructure. We encourage you to be part of the solution. As this Lighthawk flight winds down, it's time for you to take the controls, get involved, volunteer, learn about how to steward this critical resource. Together, we must chart a sustainable course for the Verde River, wildlife, and ourselves as we learn to share and protect this precious resource. <music>